Yeah, man. I mean, you see, um, when we're clicking like that, I mean, it's it's usually it's been a lot of complimentary football around here. Guys playing big time football, offensively, defensively, special teams wise. Just speaking for the offense, you know, when you when you're when you're able to go out there and execute, limit the um, limit the self inflicted wounds. Um, have explosive plays, like man, it's it's like the sky's the limit. So it feels good right now. Obviously, um, I know y'all know me. I ain't, I'm not, I'm not too into the hype. So it's a win, but we gotta keep moving. Alvin, you, you know this city, city of New Orleans well. Mm -hmm. After what the city went through this week with the hurricane and all of that, do you get a feel for what this win means and will mean for the people in New Orleans this week? Oh yeah, man. I think. You know, it's it's tough anytime you hear the word storm in, in, in New Orleans, right? So, I mean, that's just just that word, I think, just sends kind of a shock throughout the city, you know, anticipating and then going through it. So I know a lot of people kind of um, lost some stuff this week. Um, definitely a feeling for them and prayers for them. Um, but on the flip side, I know a lot of people that went through that storm and said they were still on the way to Dallas, you know? So the support from the city is is amazing. Like these these people, you know, they, they, they put their blood, sweat and tears into this as much as we do. Um, so it's, 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 it's definitely refreshing and, and just, it's real dope to see like, you know, who that nation's still in support out here, no matter what's going on, you know, back at home. So um, definitely shout out to them. You break down what happened on the the big screen for the touchdown. You kind of break down what happened on that play. Man, Clint, Clint, <laughs> Clint called it right on time. O line did it, did their job, and I think we just we just had a, a a great play. I mean, all the way all the way around, it felt like a practice rep. Uh, it was just it was just a great play, great play call. The receivers did their thing. The, the O line did what they were supposed to do. It was easy for me. I ain't even have to run really. So. Do you feel like you got like more space just in this offense, like to, to make stuff happen? Yeah, I think I, I, I definitely think so. Um, I think you know we do a good job of designing plays. I think you know I, I, there's not too much new under the sun. You know, football is football. A lot of these plays, the terminology is just different, right? But the way you the way you coach it and the way you install it and the, the belief that you instill in in your, you know your players as coaches as Clint, JB, Foster. Um, these guys coaching us, um, the way that they, the way that they put this in and 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 describe it to us and and kind of make it, we make it, we just make it come to life. I mean, but the way that they they install it, I think that you know everybody's kind of like all aboard. I mean, Tyron said some <clears throat> in our captain's meeting in our captain's dinner. He said like, just jump off the plane. So I think with we we just jumping off the plane with belief that you know. When they call some, when Clint calls some, that you know, if we do our jobs, we do what they tell us to do, that it's gonna, it's gonna work out. Alvin, uh, you said something last week about it, it felt good to see that success for Derek Carr because you guys see how hard he works. Yeah. What, what do you think people don't appreciate about how passionate he is about making this work? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, I'm always honest. I think he got a, a, a lot, maybe more than he deserved, of last year. You know, um, and. You know, I that, I would be lying if I was I stood up here and told told y'all that it didn't hurt him. I'm sure it hurt him. You know what I'm saying? Because I I see what type of work he puts in, and I see the type of player that he is, and the player that he wants to be, and the, and the type of teammate he is, and the type of man he is. So, you know, like for him to come out and perform, like it almost feels better for me seeing that than you know me getting the success because I know how hard he works, and I know you know the the city's been hard on him. Um, you coming in, you trying to fill the shoes of a, a Drew Brees that's been, you know, that guy for so long. And, I mean, that's that's hard for anyone to do. But, you know, I think Derek, he, he, he's he's taking on the challenge. He's working hard and he just wants to lead, you know. So, you know, we're following the leader. When you see in the film room him taking a hit on a 60-yard TD pass now two weeks in a row, yeah. when you review the film tomorrow, like, what, what does that do for I you? I mean, that's, that's kind of – the epitome of what what we talking about, right? Like he he he's a guy. Like he's gonna he's he's gonna he's gonna deliver. He's got, he wants to deliver. So you know he'll sacrifice himself to go up there and 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 you know give she the opportunity to go score, bit, make a, make an explosive play. Um, that's just who he is. You know I I I, I mean I give, I give him his flowers. You know every day, but you know I don't want to sit up here and make it seem like he a charity case. Like man, he a great quarterback. You know, so I'm happy that he's getting the opportunity to showcase that. Did you get to see his dance 
Oh so yeah, yeah. He came over and told me. He came over. <laughs> he came over and told me. So I, I'm, I'm sure I, somebody. I, I need somebody to slow that down somewhere, and <laughs> so we can have a clip of that. It's not supposed to be this easy. I mean, you all scored on your first 50, the first team offense, the first 15 series this season. Mm -hmm. Does it feel that good? At, you know, when you're out there, that you all can run and pass and, like you said, complement each other so well. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's just the belief that we have right now, not only in ourselves, but you know, with with Clint and, and like I said, JB and Foster and and and, and Clancy and these guys installing this. You know, um, like. <laughs> They're putting us in position, and we're just going and just bringing it to life. We just set hut and, and we're going. So I think we're, we we got great ball players and we got great players. And when you got those two, man, I think the sky's the limit. Elvin, uh, back at the start of training camp, you're pretty adamant that you weren't like an aging running back. You still mm -hmm. felt like you had a lot to tank. So to show that through two weeks, I mean, how does that feel to show that yeah. you're still a guy? Uh, it, it's no surprise to me, you know. I think. Um, and I, like I said, I don't really, I don't look at a lot of news and stuff like that. You know, I, I usually got to get receive news from my brother or some, or my mom mad if somebody says something about me. But <laughs> um, I feel good. You know, I said, and I and I, I mean this. Like, I feel like I can play until I feel like I don't want to play, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. It's fun. I feel like we're winning. I like being here. I like being around my teammates. I love the city. Um, I just keep going. I don't, I, I'm 29. I guess I'm old in football years, but I don't feel old. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, look, I know you don't pay attention to the news, but mm -hmm. like a lot of people were talking about like Saints offensive line versus Cowboys front, like how are they going to hold up? Oh. I, I mean, like, what would you think of their performance today? I mean, the, the the Cowboys is a good team, right? They got a good defense. Um, but the whole week, and I say this every week, I don't care who we playing. It's faceless. Um, it's a faceless opponent. If you get too caught up looking looking at you know who's across from you, you don't you, you miss what you what you got to do, what your assignment is. You miss out on the work that you got to put in. So you know we just sit and we enjoy our process. And the O line, I think they took it as a challenge because, like I said, it's a good team we're playing against, whoever, whatever team it is. Um, but you know they 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 took it upon themselves to come out and execute, and we were able to have the success we had because they executed. You know none of it. And and I think a lot of people, you know, we, they see me scoring touchdowns, she scoring touchdowns, and guys moving. None of it happens without those guys up front. So kudos to them. I mean, they, they balled their ass off. Today you had like third and four passing downs, and you're running it. Mm -hmm. What was your confidence, and you're, and you're converting it, uh, what was your confidence getting to the edge on those plays? Oh, I mean, man, I, I went to Clint. I think it's just, like I said, Clint just believing in, in guys, you know, and then especially, the, you know, I, I, I told him, I, I went and thanked him on the sideline. Like, I told him, appreciate you, like, stick it with me. He like, yeah, let's go. Let's go score some more. So I think it's just, you know, an overall belief of, like, shoot, when we call, when we, when we call a play, it's because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a positive play, and whatever. It's, it's, it's going to get more than it's designed for, but the design is already amazing. So um, we're just having fun.